Since the recent news about Stalker 2, the community has been on fire, and many of us will have a hard time to wait until April 2022. Hopefully, we still have a plethora of mods to play while waiting for Stalker 2. Hello, Stalkers, and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video, we will present 5 standalone mods for Stalker that you should try out while waiting for Stalker 2. Before we start, I need to quickly explain that a mod is called standalone when it does not need the original game to be played. Yes, that's right, you don't have to possess any of the Stalker games to play these mods. All you have to do is download and install them. They are basically full games on their own. And all of this is free. Awesome, right? Oh, and the five mods we'll talk about are not in any particular order. Old Good Stalker Evolution, or OGSE, is a huge mod based on Shadow of Chernobyl. You will still play as the marked one and follow the same story, but the experience will be vastly different. The story will include a lot of new and interesting quests, characters and locations, as well as new items, weapons, artifacts and everything else, even drivable vehicles. This mod adds a lot to the base game while keeping its basics almost intact, so I think it is a good first mod for people who have never tried modding Stalker before. Moreover, the environments in the zone have been made even more atmospheric. All the locations have been improved, including new locations taken from the cut content, such as Darkscape or the Dead City. The immersion of the player is also increased through the characters that populate the world. They are unique and offer interesting dialogues and quests while also providing new elements of world building and lore. The quests and gameplay are varied as well, from artifact hunts inside weird anomalies, attacks from monsters, firefights with bandits and even strange puzzles. In conclusion, this mod has a lot to give to both new and veteran stalkers, so make sure you check it out. Gold Sphere, or the Golden Ball, is one of the most unique mods that I've played. Indeed, the mod has its own original storyline. You play as Zekan, a newcomer to the zone who is looking for the Wish Granter. But here's the twist. The story takes place in 2008, four years before the events of Shadow of Chernobyl. This means that the zone is very different from what we are used to, while still featuring the same familiar locations, as well as a brand new one. Also, in 2008, the Starker phenomenon is only in its beginnings, so the area is much less populated than in the vanilla games. In fact, almost all the NPCs you will meet are unique characters that are part of the story, which means that human A-life is almost non-existent in this mod. Hopefully the locations are still filled with the usual mutants, and there are a lot of interesting quests and tasks to do. Because of this particular setting, the zone appears more wild, with a lot of new and strange anomalies everywhere and the quests involve a lot of puzzles. I feel like this mod turns Stalker into an adventure game rather than a shooter, because there will be less fighting and more RPG elements. But it's not a bad thing, because it does it well. So in conclusion, this mod is perfect for those who want to try something different, a brand new type of experience within the world of Stalker. Oblivion Lost Remake, or simply OLR, is a mod which has a clear goal, 
recreate the old version of Stalker Oblivion Lost, just like it is described in the game design documents, or at least with as much fidelity as possible. And trust me, the mod succeeds at that brilliantly. The storyline is quite similar to Shadow of Chernobyl, but it is much darker, and involves finding a number of secret documents scattered around the zone. The old maps from the builds have been reused and improved to recreate the former atmosphere and layout of the zone, as it was planned to be at some point. And a lot of cut content has been brought back, including items, weapons, mutants, maps, and even cars. Some of the main characters are also different. They offer interesting quests that are based on concepts from the design documents. Overall, while playing this mod, you can see the similarities with Shadow of Chernobyl, yet it feels like a completely different game. Oblivion Lost Remake is a fantastic display of what Stalker could have been, and while I'm not saying that it would necessarily be better than Shadow of Chernobyl, it is always nice to discover cut features and IDs of the developers and to see them being brought back to life through a mod. So if you are interested in cut content or simply curious about what Stalker Oblivion Lost was, this mod is made for you. Lost Alpha is one of the most known Stalker mods for the simple reason that it is very old, but here we are talking about its final director's cut version, which is, in my opinion, much better than some of the previous versions of the mod. Lost Alpha is, much like Oblivion Lost Remake, about bringing back cut content and features, but unlike OLR, it takes much more freedom from the design documents, and does not try to be an accurate depiction of the old versions of the game. Rather, Lost Alpha uses the best elements from the old concepts, and mixes them with original and new ideas to create a huge modification of Shadow of Chernobyl, with some major changes to the story and the locations. In fact, Lost Alpha has some of the best reworks of old maps I've ever seen on top of adding new areas altogether, which makes the zone in the mod much bigger than in any official games. Apart from that, new NPCs, quests, mutants, anomalies and artifacts. New everything. Oh, and vehicles as well, of course. All in all, Lost Alpha basically has the same gameplay as Shadow of Chernobyl we all know and love, while also adding a ton of new exciting stuff on top of it. So it is a nice mod to play for any stalker out there. Wind of Time is a mod based on Call of Pripyat, but it has its own original story. You are Demidov, a soldier who is sent back in time into the zone to find how to destroy it. Yes, the plot might sound weird, but don't worry, it's not a big deal. Anyway, the mod takes place in 2014, that is after the events of the original Stalker trilogy, so the zone has changed. Yet, you will be able to visit familiar locations as well as brand new ones, that, as far as I know, have been created only for this mod. But to me, the main highlight of Wind of Time is its quest lines. They are very well polished and remind me a lot of Call of Pripyat's side quests in terms of quality. Indeed, the quests are very interesting and immersive and involve friendly NPCs helping you out. Apart from that, the mod is also very good in all other aspects be it dialogues, gunplay, artifact hunting, etc. Wind of Time might not be the biggest or the longest mod, but with its unique story, high quality tasks and solid gameplay, 
it is for sure a breath of fresh air for stalker fans who are tired of the marked one and who want to experience a brand new adventure with a new character inside the zone. Well, here you have it. Five very good standalone mods for Stalker. The links to their respective pages on ModDB will be in the description. So if you're bored while waiting for Stalker 2, you know what to do now. And be sure to let me know what you think of these mods in the comments below. Thank you for watching, Stalkers, and goodbye.